But first, we do have new video showing the moments that shots were fired in Ybor City this weekend. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay here at 5. I'm Josh Sidorowitz. And I'm Emerald Morrow. And for Courtney, now we do want to warn you, this video can be very disturbing to watch. <laughs> Police believe that there was more than one gunman who fired the shots that killed two people. 16 others were injured in the chaos. But right now, just one suspect is in custody. And tonight, prosecutors are fighting to keep him behind bars until he goes to trial. 22-year-old Tyrell Phillips faced a judge in court this morning where Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez said he is a danger to the community and should be denied bond. And we have team coverage with the latest from Ybor City. 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian talks with former mayor Bob Buckhorn, who has some tough criticisms for some businesses in the area. But we start tonight with Shannon Clow, and she spoke with someone hurt in the shooting. This is an interview you will only see on 10. Good evening, Shannon. Good evening, Emerald. So an 18 year old girl tells me that she was shot in the leg and the back and just tells me that it was a traumatic experience after a celebration early Sunday morning. She tells me that she's losing sleep because she's still hearing those gunshots going off in her head. This, as she tells me, her injuries have now left her having to learn to rewalk. I just keep replaying in my head and hearing the gunshots go off. Emily Perez was heading home from Ebor when celebrating Halloween became scarier than she ever imagined. It was scary. Like when I fell on the ground, I was out in the open and the shots were still going as I fell. Emily had been shot twice in her back and her leg. And I was screaming at them. I was like, help me, help me. I got shot, help me. And then a lady came over. As she was on the ground, the gunfire didn't stop. I was very scared, like, that I was going to get a third bullet. Her friend ran back to help her. She saw me go down, and she tried to go back for me. And she ended up getting hit trying to save me. Emily says it was chaotic with so many people hit by the gunfire. It was actually like very scary because it was multiple bodies just next to each other. It was me. There was a guy in front of me. There was a lady in front of me. There was a guy behind me, a guy next to me. As she laid on the ground, she called her parents. And I was just screaming and telling them that I got shot. Her parents met her at St. Joseph's Hospital. Seeing them reminded her of how lucky she was. It was very emotional. I, I, I started crying a lot. Like my parents told me, like, this is really a blessing that I have to look at. I probably couldn't have called my parents that night if it did go worse. This 18 year old college student now needs to relearn how to walk and both bullets are staying in her for the time being. Painful to walk and get out of bed and go into bed and do a lot of things that I used to do. Despite the pain and panic, she's grateful to be home with her family. That's really what I was looking forward to the whole time it happened from being on the ground. I told them I just want to go like I want to go home. And while Emily is home recovering with her family, that does mean she is out of work. So in this time, as medical bills are expensive, her co-workers over at the Chipotle on South Howard Avenue will be having a fundraiser for her this Wednesday from 3 until 6. You can go there and support her, but if you can't attend, there is a fundraiser online, and that will be linked on our website, 10tampabay.com. I'm live in Tampa, Shannon Glow, 10 Tampa Bay.